uh, tell you a little bit about me. My name is Beth Kramer, a librarian here at Appalachian State University Libraries. Plus, I'm also an adjunct instructor in Languages, Literatures, and Cultures Department, where I teach one French course. This webinar will be about Mango, one of the language learning resources we have here at the University Libraries, made available to us through NC Live which means it's not only available at our university, but at all municipal libraries, K through 12 schools, state schools within North Carolina, and all institutions of higher education. And a great resource it is. We've had it for years at Appalachian. I think we were the first academic library to have it in the state. And from there, we informed others about it. And now it's going to be in all libraries. So giving you a broad overview of, of Mango, it's an interactive language learning tool, and it's available both as a computer program, such as I'll be showing you today, but also as an app that's available for your personal devices, such as your smartphone or your tablets. Um, it's gonna help you acquire vocabulary. It's going to help you improve your pronunciation and your grammar. And plus, it also provides cultural information about the places that the language is spoken. It's self-paced, so you can go as slow or as quickly as you want. And there are currently 72 languages available via Mango, including English. I think it's easy to use. Uh, it's entertaining, particularly the movies. And it can help you prepare, uh, prepare for travel or to review for any language courses you might be currently enrolled in. To locate Mango, we're going to begin here at the Belk Library and Information's homepage. You see up here in the right-hand corner where it says Browse All Databases, there's several ways you can get to Mango, but I find this the easiest. Just click on Browse All Databases. And up here, by name, you have an alphabetical listing of all of our titles of our databases. So you click on M for Mango and you'll find it within the listings. And clicking on Mango Languages takes us directly into the Mango login screen. So let me do that real quick for those who, um, just one more time, it always helps remember it the next time you're doing this by yourself. Starting on the library homepage, I'm gonna click on Browse All Databases. It's going to take me to the alphabetical listing by name of databases and clicking on M. Going to find Mango Languages. Okay. And here you have the option of either going directly to the guest access here or you can log in. By clicking on guest access, you can jump directly into Mango without having to set up an account within Mango. You have the full level of access that you do with the login, but the only difference being that you will not be able to track your progress from session to session, which I'm going to guess that you want to do. To keep track of your progress, you are going to have to set up an account so you can log into Mango, and it's very easy to do. All you need to do is to come down here below the login button, and it says, don't have a profile? Create one to keep track of your practice. If you click on this, it's going to take you to basically a, sign, a, a place where you can sign up for access to Mango. And your screen is going to look like this. And all you have to do is put in your name, put in your um, App State email address, and then here, you can put in any password that you want. It doesn't even have to be a terribly complicated, safe password. But I've already done this, so I don't need to do it. But if you do, please go ahead. It would really, literally would only take you 30 seconds, or you might have already finished doing it by the time I stop talking. Since I already have a login and password, all I need to do here is simply click login. And since I'm already a Mango user, I've used Mango before, what you see here is my dashboard 
with my recent Mango Languages activity. So you can see that recently I've spent 3.2 hours within Mango. I've studied six different courses and completed none because I have a habit of not completing them once I start them. Um, you can see that I've been studying French. I have studied some Thai. And I've also started watching two movies in French. For the beginner, the best place to start in Mango is over here in the menu on the left-hand side, because you won't have selected any languages yet. And I'm going to hit languages. And what that does is it brings me up to a page that lists the six most popular languages within Mango, that being Spanish, English, French, Chinese, Japanese, and Italian. But to see a listing of all 72 languages in Mango, you can come up here to the All Languages tab. Once you click on that, you get a full listing of all 72 languages available. Highlights being, you can study Arabic, but Arabic from four different geographical locations from around the world. You can study Spanish, but you can choose to study either Latin American, Spanish, or Spanish from Spain. We have an interesting array of languages, including Yiddish, Urdu, Pirate, and also uh, Hawaiian. At the top of the screen, you'll find in addition to this list of languages, you can also select to learn English in a wide variety of first languages. And this is one of um, Mango's greatest selling points. So if you are Armenian and you want to learn English, you can be guided through the Mango English language program in your native language. Because it doesn't make much sense to try to teach someone English and to have the uh, learning module in English. So as an example, I'm going to go ahead and click on the module for learning English for Armenian speakers, and it's just gonna give you a sample of how that would look. I suppose. So what you have here is you have the introduction in the native language. It's gonna be Armenian, it's gonna be Arabic, and it's gonna be French. Remember, it's not for us English speakers, it's for those Armenian speakers wanting to learn English. And I'm just gonna go briefly to the next page and you're gonna see what it's like for the Armenian speakers. And this is very similar to what I'm gonna show you for English speakers wanting to learn French. Hello, how are you? I am fine. I am good. My name is Lilith. What is your name? I am Armen. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. So as a librarian and an instructor of languages, I can imagine that this is a tremendous resource at public libraries, schools, and places of higher education, particularly for those that have the multicultural population with recent residents that want to learn or improve their English language skills. Okay. Now you can also select from the languages page to see specialty courses available from Mango. These are specific conversation topics in select languages. For example, if you are in business, you can check on the specialty courses for how to conduct business in Mandarin or in Spanish. If you're going on vacation and are hoping to meet someone special, you can study conversations, romantic conversations, in the four Romance languages, being Portuguese, Spanish, Italian, or French. Or, even better, if you're planning a trip to Mexico, you can take an intense course on just how to text in Spanish while on your trip or visiting in Mexico. Okay, at this point, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to jump into one of the units for one of the more popular languages, French. Now, since I have already worked in this module, I'm gonna go ahead and click here Mango Conversations French. It's basically the introductory course. I could continue my progress by clicking on the resume learning button and it will pick up where I left off. I also have the option of gauging my existing language of the 
my existing knowledge of the language by taking a placement test, which might advise me to go to a more advanced lesson, or once I complete a unit, I can test my knowledge gained by taking a course assessment of the unit I just completed. Here, I'm going to start unit one, building the basics. As you can see, the units are broken down into chapters. You can choose whichever chapter is best going to suit your needs. Uh, if I want to go to France and I'm really focusing on shopping and paying for my shopping, I can go to chapter five. Or I'm gonna go ahead and just go through them in the order as they're presented. Each lesson, as you can see on the screen, begins with conversational goals and grammar goals. Gives you a preview of what you will be learning. The pages are easily navigable with the help of the right and left arrows here. And once we progress to the next page, the narrator will provide us with additional information and we'll jump into a conversation with native speakers. Even if it seems hard now, you'll learn to have conversations like this easily by the end of the chapter. Bien, bonjour. Ça va? Ça va bien, merci. Et vous? Très bien, merci. Bon, à tout à l'heure. Oui, au revoir. À tout à l'heure. Okay, so here you have the option of replaying segments on the of the conversation just by clicking on the speaker icons to on the right of each portion. So, ça va bien, merci. Et vous? Très bien, merci. Bon, à tout à l'heure. Or you can come down here and click on the replay button at the bottom, which will replay the entire segment as first presented. The way to say, oh, good morning, how are you? Is to literally say, hold it, good morning, how's it going? Which is, tiens, bonjour, ça va? So going through this page, you see that we have the written English followed by the French. Your English translation can either be the understood, or you can switch it to the literal translation of the French. Like what she was saying, that tiens literally means hold it in French. You'll also notice that Mango has this semantic color mapping, where the orange good morning matches with the orange bonjour, same word, different languages, same meanings, and the orange how are you matches with the excuse me, the red, how are you, matches with the red, ça va, meaning how are you in English. Okay. If you wish, you can hover over selected words in French and you can see the phonetic spelling, or you can click on the word to hear its pronunciation. Bonjour. Ça. Va. You can also use the replay button to replay the entire segment or you can click on the speaker icon and you'll only hear the practice sentence at a conversational speed. Tiens, bonjour, ça va? And another feature of Mango is the ability to record your voice and compare it with the pronunciation of a native speaker. So let me demonstrate. Here is the voice, voice comparison icon. Clicking on this, What's first gonna come up is Mango requesting permission to access your, um, your microphone. All you have to do is click the green button to say allow. And then I want to hear the native speaker saying the sentence, tiens, bonjour, ça va? So clicking on the speaker here. Tiens, bonjour, ça va? Listening to it several times. Tiens, bonjour, ça va? Bonjour, ça va? I can record my voice by clicking on the microphone icon, saying the same phrase, and then clicking on the microphone again when I am finished. This will record my voice. Tiens, bonjour, ça va? Clicking on it to end it, and then I drag my graph recording to match that of the French speaker and play them back at the same time. Yeah, bonjour, ça va? Or I can, as painful as it might be, play it back only my recording. Yeah, bonjour, ça va? Okay, as you progress through the screens, 
Mango also provides review lessons, which I'm going to go ahead and show you an example. What's the way to say good morning? So here, it, Mango gives you time to provide the correct answer. Bonjour. And by the time the time has run out, if you have not responded or clicked to the next screen, it gives you the answer. Again, you can replay it. You can say just be, hear just the word. Bonjour. Or you can compare your voice with that of the native speaker. Again, the review screen. The way to say, how are you? is to literally say, how's it going? Which is, ça va? Okay. Ça va? And now I want to record my voice and compare it with the native speaker. So I'm gonna listen to the native speaker a couple of times. Ça va? Ça va? And then I'm gonna record my own voice. Ça va? Drag to match. Play them at the same time. Ça va? Listen to my own voice. Ça va? Compare it with the native speaker. Ça va? I'm getting there. You can see I'm not matching perfectly, but every time I do this, my pronunciation improves. Another feature uh, interspersed between the pages are cultural notes that provide a glimpse into French life and its language. So we'll progress to one of the cultural note screens. Try to Tiens. is a colloquial way to express a slight surprise and comes from the verb to hold. Tenir. Many expressions in French wouldn't mean much when literally translated. For instance, ah, tiens. Ça va? translates to, oh, hi there, how are you? We don't actually ask the person to hold anything. Okay, so this chapter one, lesson one, unit one, continues in pretty much the same I method. Say, oh. Introducing new words and phrases throughout the unit. Yeah. Okay. So closing this, I wanna show you another feature in Mango that I really like, and I think is really valuable to the language learners. Going back to the languages screen, which is where you access a lot of what we've done today, uh, is the availability of movies in many languages. You can either come here to the All Movies tab for an inclusive list of all movies available, or you can go back to the All Languages and go select a language that you're interested in, and on that page will list all the films available for you to watch within that language. In this example, we're using French, and we have available to us is La Moustache and a movie called Around a Small Mountain. Each movie gives you an age-appropriate rating, plus more information about a film, including what type of film, thriller, the director, Emmanuel Carrière, and the cast, plus a summary of what the movie's about. You have viewing options of the film once you enter the film. You can watch it in movie mode, where you can watch the film all the way through, and will allow you to select your subtitles or captions as you wish. What I do as a language learner is I might select movie mode, but then when I'm choosing subtitles, I have the option of choosing subtitles for English or only the subtitles in French, or I can combine both English and French subtitles on the same screen frame, which is something that you cannot do through Netflix or any DVDs that you purchase. And in seeing how this is beneficial to the language learner, let me go ahead and get this started. You can watch the movie and you can hear them speaking and you can see what they're saying in French. And then you can also see the English translation. And where this is particularly helpful is when they're speaking very quickly or where they're using a lot of slang or jargon that you didn't learn in your language courses. So let me get to some spoken dialogue. So even though I teach French and have spoken French for a number of years, I'm not familiar with the uh, French word for shoelaces. But here, provided that there's an English translation of what he's saying and the word, I have just 
significantly built my, my uh, vocabulary from watching the film. Another option for watching films is the engage mode. And in this mode, you can work through the film basically line by line, scene by scene in a very in-depth way that builds both your language and your cultural knowledge. So starts with a preparation, followed by viewing the scene with a follow-up, and then you can view the scene again, and then it, it, in, and it just does a summary of what you've just watched. Available on this page is an introduction to the scene you're gonna watch with both uh, the French description of the scene and an English description of the scene. You have uh, multiple vocabulary words that you're going to encounter with this scene. And you also have some cultural notes that'll tell you a bit about what is particularly French about this film that might be different than what you're used to being an American citizen. So going from the scene introduction, you can go into the view scene. Going through the credits, it's more of what we've already seen. Next, after we finished with the particular scene, we can go to follow up. And what follow up does is it basically, again, just lists line per line what we've just seen in the film. You end up viewing the scene again and then a summary of what you've watched. And for me, this takes a while, but it is so very valuable in learning a language. Okay. Now back at the Mango homepage, you can see that up on the top right, so we're shifting gears now, is a translation feature. And basically, this is just a feature powered by Google Translate. So it's no different than what you can get from the Google homepage. On the left, you can also gauge your activity as you progress through the lessons. And you can see how many minutes you're studying or uh, if you have certain goals for yourself, you can set and meet goals by using this activity page. You also have a support page where they list frequently asked questions from Mango, but even better if you're having problems or have any questions, there's a toll-free phone number you can call and speak to someone, or you can submit a problem ticket to Mango and they'll get back in touch with you with answers. Um, another thing that they do is Mango encourages users to visit their Mango lab. And here you find additional language courses Mango is considering for development. So I've already expressed my interest to them for Nepali and for Mongolian. But if you are interested in seeing them develop Mango uh, module for Navajo, you just need to click here under View Info and rank your interests between one star and five stars. Hit Notify Me, and you basically just voted for Mango to develop that language course in Navajo. And the last thing I'm going to show you before we go into a more general discussion and a question and answer is, as I said earlier, Mango has an app available for your personal devices, such as smartphone or tablets. If you go here to the left, say you have an iPhone like I do, and you wanna download the Mango app onto your iPhone, it's a very easy process. You just click here on the Apple, where it says available in the App Store, and instructions come up for you. And what you need to do is you need to use your iPhone to go to the App Store, and download the Mango app onto your phone. You simply open the Launch the App and it's going to ask you for a username and a password. And instead of the username that you used for the Mango on the computer, which we did earlier, you use this code right here as your username and you put in the password that you use for your regular Mango account. And in doing that, you can get Mango on your phone. I'm gonna turn on my camera real quick, introduce myself, and also show you guys my phone, if I can get this to work. Okay, hello everybody. This is me, I'm Beth, and this is my iPhone. Uh, find my Mango app. 
Okay, if you look at it, it's in the fourth row down. Can you see my Mango app there on my phone? Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and open that up. I'm already logged in. In fact, I'm on the cultural note where we stopped in the French language session. And what I'm gonna do is, one of my favorite things about using the app. Try to say, okay. oh. You remember this from the French course? Is with the phone app, you have this wonderful option. You can see at the bottom, it says autoplay. Can you see that? What that does by selecting that is it's a function that allows me to listen straight through Mango while I do other things. It's not available on your uh, desktop computer. So if I hit autoplay, try to say, oh. I can turn up the volume on my Mango app, just place it beside me, and it's going to play continually while I do other things with my hands, such as wash dishes Let's or run. Say, good morning. And that's not an option um, on the uh, desktop or the computer. How are you? As soon as I can turn Mango off and make it stay off. Okay. So with that, I'm done with the presentation.